Hey, hello, good afternoon, everyone. I am very excited today is going to be the beginning of the league. So super happy to talk to you about my next game. The goal of this video is to explain what's going to be my next strategy in order to beat Jaguares Cordoba. So I know for a fact he's going to play creativity. As you guys can see here, he's been playing creativity all the way. So before jumping into the setup of the lineup, I know for a fact that my rival is going to be playing creatively. So I'm going to try to explain in a nutshell what is playing creatively and which are the, their pros and cons and how to how to face teams that are playing with this specific tactic. Playing creativity means that it's more effective for teams that have many players with specialities. In this case, when you use play creatively, there is a greater chance that special events for both positive and negative will occur for both teams during the match. In addition to that, if both teams use play creatively, this chance is even higher. I think it's around a 30% or so. Therefore, teams playing creatively will be less focused on defense. That's a pro, and I'm going to look into that when I'm, I'm going to set up the, the lineup. Therefore, playing creatively tactics increase the chance for special events happening for both teams. It helps generate a goal special events up to 30%. There are both negative and positive events that will be more common in both teams. I've seen that there are different different benefits. So if you, for instance, if you have higher probability to score with your players with a specialty, but to concede special events to your opponents as well. And it's important to have a good set piece at free kicks and penalties. This is super important. So make sure that you're having any players with a good specialty of set pieces. And in addition to that, shooters are very, very, very important. However, there are some drawbacks as well. Uh, defense ratings are reduced by a 7.5% and this will be problematic so you must play with five defenders. I think it's very very important that if you're playing creatively you want to have a good amount of defenders in order to bring up this 7.5%. In addition to that you will not win if you do not have special players and they are expensive. So as you guys can see my last game against him it was a draw it was 1-1 but you can see that he's got a lot of defense right here. I'm talking about reviews already but I haven't set up any players so far, but I know for a fact that with him playing creativity, I need to keep up and see what's the best thing for me to do. So for goalkeeper, I'm going to go with the best one that I have, 4.5, and here I'm just going to start to fill out everything from here. And I got Mats there over. Very important to mention that um, whenever you're playing creativity, there's a 30% chance in order to increase the, the special events together with set pieces. As you guys can see here, Matt Rovers has got a 13 score in set pieces. So this is going to, hopefully, it's going to be able for me to score a couple of goals here and there. I'm going to click on another winger here. Mm, I want to look for specialities. I'm going to go with ground words, where's Breck, even though he's a 5.5 and I have better players. And here I'm going to click on Cyber. Alrighty. I'm going to look for Ruta, another one with a speciality that is good. So I'm going to click on this one over here. And here is going to be, these are midfielders, so I'm not going to go with those ones. We'll see about Paka. For that one, I'm going to wait a little bit. Let me see what's going to happen in the midfield. Kate Samuels, Michael Kortiak, and here is going to be a Paka. Perfect. And then attacking, I need two of them. This is awesome. All of them, them have a speciality, so this is amazing. That These are great news. This is going to help me a lot in order to, to, to succeed about um, the different uh, specialities that they have. And I'm going to miss out one player here in which it's going to be Mark Garrison. Okay, now I'm going to go with the substitute central defender. I'm going to click on, again, I'm looking for specialities. So it's going to be a Tina. Perfect. That's a central defender. Win back mm, Jota Luongo, probably. Yeah, he's a technical. I like that. Inner midfielder, it's going to be Flippinger. Even though I could probably select this one, he doesn't have any specialities, so I'm going to focus on flicking. I'm going to change him, put it towards the end of the game, probably. And then forward, I'm not going to make any changes, just in case someone gets injured. I'm going to go with Kraft. And Winger is going to be Sonnef. And another one, which is a 5.5, is going to be here. So this set, I'm going to talk about two main important aspects when I'm creating my lineup. The first one is this player, the robber. The robber is going to be helping me when it comes to set pieces. So he's going to be potentially the one who's going to be able to score in any particular minute of the game. Whenever the other team is playing creatively, there is a match in between, or like an individual match in between the goalkeeper and the players. So you're going to have your players have good scoring points as well. I'm going to focus on Adrian Alvarez and 
status in order to try to score some goals. Just because if I go back to the player, I'm going to be able to see that the scoring is a 7, and then here the scoring is a 10. Passings are good as well. So passing with a 10 and scoring with a 7, it's really, really good opportunity for me. And Armin Saras is unpredictable, which means that he's going to have special events and more, more opportunities to score game. If I was playing against myself and I was playing with this tactic, I would do this setup. So I am, I am blue and he's going to be uh, red. So of course he needs to have at least five people defending. Again, if you are playing in special events, you don't really care about what is going to happen because all that you're trying to do is to have your players to, to have a specialities and with that hope, hoping for the best. But again, it's going to be for the good and for the bad. Therefore, what I'm going to go do here is that I'm going to be focusing on scoring with two people, these two guys, and one of these players who's going to be mm, in the set pieces trying to score some games. And now that I have this selected, I'm going to go make some changes and we're going to follow a little bit what I had before. So in this case, I'm going to add team order substitution. This one is in speciality under Tina Central Defender. I'm going to play with him for sure. I'm going to see if Zyber is going to get any target. He's not, but anyways, I'm going to make the change in the 70th. So Zyber out and in is going to be Tina. I'm looking for specialities. So I'm going to look for fresh legs as well, but this is going to help me with this speciality. Okay, so minute 69. Perfect. Another change. Hotel one was a technical. Perfect in the wing back. So I'm going to make this substitution as well in the 70. I like this. Grand West goes out. Longer goes in, fresh legs with the speciality, minute 70. Awesome. And then another team order in the midfielder. I'm going to wait until the 80th minute. Okay, I'm going to change. Baka, Flickinger is going to get in with an speciality. Hopefully, this 10 last minute is going to help me just in case I'm still not winning. Speciality, so probably this is going to leave it as it is. But this guy is a winger, but he's getting tired towards the end of the game, so I'm going to make this change as well in the minute 55. Substitution, Garrison goes out, in goes Sonnen F. Perfect. So I have this. I'm gonna go into penalty takers again. I'm gonna filter by set pieces, and here I'm just gonna go one by one. Trying to go as fast as I can. Perfect, and with that, I'm gonna click on review. And uh, this is gonna be my game, this is gonna be his game. I don't think he's gonna be able to score. I'm gonna have a lot of midfield. Again, my possession here is not too good either, but he's an eight here. I am an eight here. So this is a tie, he's winning, and I'm most likely going to win. So I think with that, it's going to be all set. Let me go back to team orders. Number four, I forgot to add the time. So I'm going to click on the 50. I remember that was it. Perfect. And with that, it should be good to go. So back to review. Perfect. Send orders. And for now, I'm going to keep it as normal. I think I'm going to go normal here. Let me add another goalkeeper just in case. Okay. Awesome. Okay, just, so I just sent the formation for my team. The team, the, the game is going to be in a couple of hours, so I hope I'm going to get a win out of that. I'm playing against Jaguares. I'm visiting him, so hopefully it's going to work out. Please let me know if you guys have any questions, and uh, feel free to click any of the videos you can see on the screen right now. Thank you so much, and don't forget to subscribe.